Welcome to On the Road with Doc Pritchett. Uh, we have an outstanding program planned for you this evening. Before we get started, I'd like to uh, give a special hello to my wife, uh, Juanita Pritchett, who is not with us this evening. She had to do a church program, which is where I would have been, but we have such outstanding guests. It's very important that we give them an opportunity uh, to share the things that they need to talk about this evening. So at this time, uh, we're going to start our program and to talk about some of the things that are pressing, particularly in the area of education and youth. So uh, I'd like to welcome all my guests here this evening. And uh, we want to uh, give you an opportunity to talk to our viewing audience in terms of concerns or some things that we need to really work to make better for our youth in the city of Wilmington and Newcastle County. So to my far right here, I have uh, Keith James. Uh, he's involved uh, with the uh, youth program with United Way. Yes, I'm the uh, youth engagement assistant for United Way of Delaware. Okay. And we also have uh, Orrin White yes, sir. in your title. I am the uh, youth engagement coordinator for United Way of Delaware as well as the marketing coordinator. Pleasure to my to far right, uh, we have the state superintendent for the state of Delaware, Mark Murphy. Happy to have you with us this evening. Good evening. You look fresh and relaxed. <laughs> That's great. And to my far right, we have um, Mr. Namdi. I don't know how to, I don't want to even try to pronounce your last name <laughs> incorrect, but I'll try it anyway. Chukawoka? Chukwocha. 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 Yes, sir. All right. Well, we're happy to have you with us. And of course, again, you are city councilman and also deeply involved with our educational system. Yes, sir. Particularly for the whole, all of Newcastle County, but more importantly, as it relates to Wilmington in terms of designing programs to help our young people do a better job Indeed. in school. So I think that's wonderful. Yes, I would like to uh, commend you on uh, the uh, meeting that we had on Thursday evening. I thought that was well attended, uh, very informative. And I thought that uh, those who were there had an opportunity to see what's really on the table. That, Whether that we agree or disagree, uh, we have to do something to help our young people. So I want to welcome you uh, to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Mr. Pritchard. Uh, you're quite welcome. I would like to also say while we're here, I uh, appreciate all your dad did for me <laughs> because I wouldn't be here without him. Yes, sir. And uh, he did a great job of raising me too, even though I was in college. Yes, sir. And he took care of me. But in any event, uh, we're going to start with you. Uh, and if you can just uh, tell us why you're here, what you do, and what you're doing in the city of Wilmington. Um, while I'm here, um, as the Youth Engagement Assistant for United Way of Delaware. And uh, what we're doing is engaging our youth in a Youth Advisory Council um, so we can have the youth voice present in every facet of the work that we're doing uh, at United Way of Delaware. Um, we found that uh, youth appreciate the programs that they uh, actually have a say in building. Um, you wouldn't draw a piece of art and then destroy it if you took the time to build it up. And so when we give the youth um, that opportunity to do so, um, they flourish and, and, and they will be successful. So that's one of the many things that we're doing. Okay, so do you think you are making progress? Um, of course, of course. Um, each and every day, you know, we're, um, you know, making sure we take our baby steps, but it's all closer to, uh, you know, closer to where we want to be and a step further from what we used to be. So. Yes. Well, I'm very impressed with what you're doing. And more importantly, I was impressed uh, Thursday night, uh, you having an opportunity to come up and speak on behalf of the youth. And I uh, commend you for what you're doing. Thank Anything you, I can do to support you, Pritchard Associates will be there for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And good luck with your college. Uh, uh, you're really going to Wilmington University in the fall? Spring. On the spring. Wow, okay. That's great. Okay, if I can help you in any way, you let me know about that as well. Most definitely will. Okay. Oren. Yes, sir. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I love that you're sharp, man. I like that <laughs> outfit. Yes, but uh, more importantly, tell me a little bit about what you do with United Way. Well, at United Way of Delaware, we have the opportunity to really take a different stance on youth engagement as a whole. Oh, okay. uh, we're making sure that, as Keith said, we're keeping youth in the center of the road. That's our only concern. We want to make sure that youth have the opportunity to start school on time, ready to learn, that they're reading at a proficient grade level by the fourth grade. And by the time that they get 
past that point where they're uh, graduating that they have the opportunity to pursue a post-secondary option. Um, we're doing that through a, a myriad of programs that we've been designing here at United Way of Delaware. Uh, youth engagement is very much my passion. Um, under the leadership of CEO Michelle Taylor, she's given us the ability to really design programs that are for the youth built by the voice from the youth. Uh, one of the biggest programs that we've been working on at United Way of Delaware is something that's called the Life Map Experience. And what's that been able to do is pretty much transform how we're talking to youth because we believe it starts right there. Um, it's a subset of our overall movement, which is our I Am 40 movement. It's a uh, partnership designed with United Way of Delaware and AstraZeneca, and it's going to be evaluated over a five-year period. And pretty much what we're doing is we're helping youth make better decisions because that's where we believe it starts for youth between the ages of about 12, 15. Adolescents, we believe that they're either going to make more positive decisions if the assets are prevalent in their life or they're going to make more negative decisions if they don't understand how to pinpoint the assets that are prevalent in their lives. So by working with them between that age range of 12 to 15, we can engage them in a way like never before. Having this life map gives us the opportunity to create honest and authentic dialogue with the youth. And what it does is allow us to strip away our titles. It allows us to really get to the nitty gritty and let a person know that I didn't start at United Way of Delaware. Keep then start as a youth engagement assistant. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, we've all endured some form of adversity. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want the youth to focus on. Don't focus on the things that inherently separate us, but focus on the things that bring us together. And that's our adversity. And if we were uh, had the opportunity and the tutelage to understand how to overcome our adversity and then become asset champions in our communities to help others overcome their adversity, I think we'll be a much close-knit and tighter community and we'll be able to achieve the success that we desire for ourselves. So that's really a first step for us to the life map experience. Now the second step and the sustainability component for you is a youth advisory council. Keith alluded to it. What we really want to do is keep them in the center of the room, but also have their voice present in every facet of our work. We want to be able to go to city council with a group of youth who are educated on the issues that are going to be able to make a stance for the community for the change that they want to see in their community. Not necessarily just say, "Wow, something happened that I I don't know how to change," but how to be educated, how to mobilize, and how to make an effective and communicative change to the localities that are in here, that are in the state, and also uh, be able to work with uh, all the sectors. To be able to work with police officers. To be able to work with uh, nonprofit organizations to be able to work with all organizations so that we're working collaboratively together to build the Wilmington and overall the state of Delaware that we want to see. I'd like to see you uh, come up with a program where we can have sort of like a forum where we can have the youth uh, to, to interact with some of the particular agencies you just mentioned. Yes, but more importantly to really sit down and let them see how to, to, to uh, do a forum and, and, and set up different classrooms where we can do things. I think one of the things that, that's happening, I think we've done a great job. We've had some, some uh, marches as related to uh, some violent issues that have taken place and, and homicide and things of that nature. I think that's very much important. Yes, but I think we need to, to start to focus on it the academic piece, no you know, our educational march. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, you know, we, we, we're, we, we need to make sure that we stay focused on all aspects of where we're going. Yes, sir. So I, I'd love to see, I'd love to help you with that, uh, to, to develop a forum sometime in November or, or later in the year where we can uh, have a youth forum mm -hmm. uh, where they can actually talk about the issues that they have mm -hmm. and want to see and what they think would be best for helping them get to where they need to go mm -hmm. under, under you guys' uh, leadership. So that's something we can, we can look at. Uh, I'm sure Tyrone Jones is involved with it. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Uh, he represents the, uh, the AstraZeneca component of the <coughs> IM40 movement. And we're very excited for the work that we're doing. We're present throughout the state. Um, in Newcastle County, Children and Families First are oh, yes, the champions yes. that are on the ground. In Kent County, we have 4 H. And mm -hmm. then down in Sussex yes. County, we have Sussex County Health Coalition. Wow, promotion. that's beautiful. So, pretty much, those are the organizations that are responsible for making the definitive impact yes, in their community yes. because they have the blueprint for the community, yes. they have the voice of the people, and they have the access. So, we mm -hmm. want to make sure that the individual that are driving this movement because mm -hmm. it truly is a movement are people that they see on a daily basis not individuals that are coming into their community with resources that really <coughs> doesn't, not, doesn't understand the inner workings of that community That's so correct. we have these organizations that are yes. on the ground that are able to make swift and systemic change in these communities so that these assets are able to help our youth immediately well I tell you what both of you are on fire <laughs> and I like that I mean you know as a young man uh, both of you young men that you, you know you have some great leadership skills and you seem very motivational in terms of, you know, it's coming from the heart, which you're really concerned with making sure that they don't make the mistakes that's going to get them incarcerated or to get them to drop out of school and so forth and so on. So I commend both of you. Thanks, and sir. we need young people like you that's out there on the, on the, on the I'll say on the road, mm -hmm. making sure that young people know that people care about you. 
and we're going to make sure you get where you need to go. Yes, sir. So my uh, hat goes off to you, Thanks, and sir. I'm a ball head man here, so, <laughs> but I, I think you're doing great things. I'm proud of you. Thanks, sir. Okay. Now, I want to uh, take this time to welcome our State Superintendent, Mark Murphy. Uh, I'm just happy that you uh, took the time this evening to come on the show. And I just want you to, again, in your own way, uh, talk about the educational system and where you're going, why you're doing the things that you're doing, and how we as a community and educators or community activists can get involved and make a difference in our children's lives. I was uh, quite uh, taken back at uh, the meeting uh, Thursday, and one of the things that that, that really kind of struck home with me is that this is about the children. And I think you adequately put that uh, during your talk in the beginning uh, with your presentation. It's about the children and what we can do to help our children. And I think uh, rolling up our sleeves and working with any group that's trying to help our children do a better job educationally, uh, I, I was impressed with uh, uh, Theo Gregory and uh, Namdi uh, for having that program and giving you an opportunity to talk because things aren't going to get better if we don't sit and listen to each other and roll our sleeves up and say is this what we want can we do something different uh, can we uh, just ignore it or do we roll our sleeves up and say you know what uh, if in fact uh, their concerns on the table, how can we get better? And I, I just uh, commend anyone, particularly you and Namdi for, uh, and Theo Gregory as well, for staying in the fight, and others uh, on city council for uh, making sure that all voices are heard about really dealing with our low test scores or our dropout prevention programs we could come up with anything that's gonna help our children. And so uh, I just want you to talk about this priority school situation, if you don't mind. Not at all, and okay. thank you for having me on. Um, I was actually reminded as Oren was talking that the last time we were on, we were talking about student efficacy and the belief of if you work hard and get smart, you will be successful in that yes. engagement and learning. I thought this is exactly what, what this is happening here. They're, yes. they're doing it with our youth. Um, so thank you for the opportunity to be You're on. You're quite welcome. With, with these great folks. And, and also want to call out that Councilman Chikotwa uh, allowing us to the opportunity to have a really important discussion with the city council is incredible. Um, and and that, that opportunity to have a critical dialogue and to hear from the public is needed as we're talking about um, arguably the most important thing we can be talking about, which is the future of our city, which is, which is within our youth. Yes. And, and specifically, uh, as it pertains to the city of Wilmington, one of our major focus areas, not, not our only, certainly, but one of our major focus areas is helping the nearly 2,000 children who are currently attending six schools in Wilmington that are all struggling. These six schools are struggling to meet the needs of their kids and, and these kids are struggling to be successful. And right now, nearly two out of three students in these schools are struggling to do just basic reading and basic math. Um, and not only that, unfortunately, many of the children are struggling to show any significant gains in academic achievement. Oh, okay. And so what that means is that year after year, they're actually falling farther and farther behind. Right? They're already starting behind and now they're falling farther behind. So the, the opportunity that we have created is an opportunity for our communities to come together and say, how can we do things differently in these six schools, these six priority schools? and serve these nearly 2,000 children differently. And uh, we as a state have launched this effort. It's called our Priority Schools. They are our priority and the children in them are our priority. And we have added $6 million to this and, and invited the community, invited the, the, the children and their parents and the educators to come together and make a plan for the school moving forward. Because the way things are going right now in these six schools, it's not working, it's, it's not being successful. So this is our opportunity to change things.